Yo, what is up? I'm back with another Kendrick Lamar uh, reaction. It's time for Euphoria. I, I Euphoria. Sorry, I mispronounced it. But uh, that's my dyslexia showing up on me. And speech impediment I had as a kid. Uh, but I digress. Uh, so... A lot of people ask me to do this, and, you know, I'm pretty stoked uh, to do more reactions on Kendrick Lamar because, uh, on his music, because the more I listen to him, I'm more invested in his storytelling, uh, like, it, he's one of those artists that uh that just writes all the time I, I guarantee he's one of those artists that you know will be laying in bed and you know about to fall asleep and he's just like there's a pen and a paper right beside him and he's just like writing lyrics eyes closed sorry uh, hit the mic but he's one of those artists uh I can only relate in the sense that I have a guitar right beside my bed might be weird to a lot of people, but, uh, you know, as an artist, I want that to be right there just in case I get, like, spur in a moment, like, oh, this would sound fucking badass, or I should do something like this. Um, you know, uh, I, I've collabed with, like, other artists, and, you know, this is kind of... With doing these reactions, it's making me want to write more music and get back into it. Um, it'd be kind of awesome to do like a, a kind of a metal riff with like a rap, um, or like someone rapping on top of it because I can't rap. Well, I don't know if I can, I've never really tried it, I've only dabbled in writing it. I might have said that in a previous video, but. Regardless, thank you, Kendrick. You're making this metalhead want to write more music in general. Like, I miss that because, you know, I was in a job before the job right now I'm in where it was soul-sucking and, and, you know, living in places where, like, I, I had to... As an artist, as a struggling artist, I would have to be sleeping on the floor. Or, you know, just a mattress on the floor. Um, and I'd rather be able to write music and do that. But, um, but I kind of, mm, what am I getting at? Like, the pure fact that... I forgot that hunger, like, for that. I had a job just, and I was around people that just were soul-sucking. Like, and this, doing these reaction videos has kind of uh, given me a new life to make more music and get back into it. Uh, so... You know, I know we won't see it, but, you know, thank you, Kendrick. Thank you so much for that. Um, also, you know, thank you, everyone that's, you know, turning up and, you know, dropping a comment, a like, asking for more, subscribing. I really do appreciate that. Uh, honest truth, like, thank you for that. Uh, it's nice to be... Uh, Understood that, you know, doesn't matter if you're into hip-hop or metal, music in general, it, in general, it moves us. So, it's awesome. But, uh, I'm trailing on, uh, let's get to it, Euphoria. I heard this is another therapy session, um, from... Kendrick, um, let's get to it. 
you. F- Wait a minute. Is that from the Wiz? Played backwards. Oh man, why can't Richard Pryor? Um, everything you heard about me is true, or everything you heard about me is true. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, that's pretty cool spin. Uh, double entendres within that just two second, two seconds in. Yo, damn. For you. Them superpowers get neutralized I can only watch in silence The famous actor we once knew Is looking paranoid and now spiraling You're moving just like a degenerate Heavy antique is feeling distasteful Why calculate you're not as calculated I can even predict your angle Fabricate stories on the family front Cause you heard Mr. Morale A pathetic master manipulator I can smell the tales on you now You're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist With the hopes of being accepted Time Yo, he's carving it up <laughs> in this. He's like tearing him apart in the most calm, collective way. Tearing him apart. Damn. Damn. That's savage. Respect. I mean, Hill figure stood out, but Fubu never had been your collection. I make music that electrify. Okay. For the younger generation, maybe Fubu is still out there, so I could be wrong. I haven't wore Fubu in a long time, but I knew growing up, middle school, high school, we would, you know, wear Fubu or Tommy Hilfiger. I didn't wear Tommy Hilfiger. Um, it was way too expensive, but. You know, I remember, what was it, Bob's, uh, I would go down to get a FUBU shirt. Um, I saw one, I bought one. Uh, I rocked that. Uh, <laughs> like, everyone had, like, at least one FUBU uh, shirt or pants or shoes or book bag. Um, and we wore it with, like, Tim's or... Some people were with lugs. Um, I don't know if lugs is even still around. Um, I never wore lugs. I thought the name was corny. Um, Tim's. Uh, Timberlands. Uh, I used to work at uh, when I was like 16, 17. Which ironically, that's when I actually picked up guitar around, around 16. I bought a guitar from uh, one of the managers there, Fender, which I still actually have. Um, so, and I'm nearing 40, so. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so the, those that know FUBU, you, it was, at least my neck of woods, it was a cheaper alternative and, you know, People dug it. We all dug it. It was a cool logo back then. Um, but anyways, let's get back to it. Look it up if you haven't uh, heard of it. But I think a lot of people have. Let's get back to it. Um, you make music that pacify them. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and a ritual liar too. But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I know it just stopped it right there, but... Oh, I gotta hear that again. Dude, that's only, like, less than a minute in. Holy shit. Man. Okay, it's a little therapy session. Literally a little. And a ritual liar, too. But mm. don't tell no lie about me. And I won't tell truths about you. Ooh. Which we know he did. <laughs> he went after him. It's not like us. Oh, shit. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, 
I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay, hell okay. made his own boys in them types LA solo, okay, everybody wanna be demon, till they get chipped by your throwaway, and I might be Oh, everyone wants to be a demon until they get chipped. It's true. Everyone wants to be like a demon, but when they get caught, they fucking get fucked up. They fucking get destroyed. They're, they hide. Like, there are some people in this world that are born like... They go through hard times, and they have to become the badass that they are. And there are people that fake to be the badass, but when they're confronted, they curl up in a ball. Facts. Um, I've seen it tons of times. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's calling them out on that. That's that's a fucking destructive fucking line no that's fucking that's cool well <laughs> it's hard to put words together uh on a kendrick track because he just steals the show every fucking time damn do a show a day, what's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down like with a poker face? Have you ever paid 500 thou like to an open case? Well, I have, and I failed at both, but I came out straight. I hate when a rapper talk about guns, then somebody die, they turn into nuns, then hop online like pray for my city. He faking for likes and digital hugs. Is daddy a killer? He wanna be junior, they must have forgot the shit that they Damn. Uh, and this was released before fucking Not Like Us? And Drake thought it would be a good idea to try and drop a ghost rhyme? Let's be honest, it was ghost rhyme. Um, but you can't come up to a guy that's been through hell and back and just will tear everything apart and reveal the facts in front of you like oh man every time i listen to a new track or another track from kendrick i know a lot of people you you hear that line you're a fan you're a fan uh <laughs> i'm not like us but not a fan like that, but uh, I'm definitely digging and vibing to what he's laying down, like what he's putting out. Like, oh, god damn it! I, I wish Kendrick would come over to Connecticut, do a tour, uh, do a show. That'd be fucking sick to see him live. Done. Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let it. Oh! Talk about it's got the ring, Tupac's ring. Like. I'm not gonna lie, I think we're all in this against Drake where, dude, he should not have that ring. Fuck that. That ring should be, like, in a museum. Uh, like, or Rock and Roll, Roll Hall of Fame because, like, Pac was... He changed, like, music for the better. Like, we know this. Uh, if you were alive when he was out, he was uh, doing music, it was a time. I remember as a kid listening to him. Man. I miss... 
Not gonna lie, I miss Tupac. Like, uh, I I know we all do. Uh, so Drake, fucking return the ring, fucking poser. I know I'm gonna get hate, but you know, it's. Let's be honest, it should be back in Cali. It should be in the Hall of Fame museum, or even with Kendrick. I I heard something about. Uh, Maybe I missed it. Maybe it was in here. Uh, someone said that Kendrick's asking for the ring. Um, so, you should give it to him. It's a nitty and nickel make pot turn in his grave. Cut the finish. You got shit twisted. What is it? The brakes? I heard your feelings. You don't work with me no more. Okay. It's three ghosts left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I love them to death, and then eight bars, I'll explain their phrase. It's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Your cold and I be no, I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melon. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better have spinning again on him. You think about pushing. Me. He's Terrence Thorne, I'm Terrence Crawford, yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't gotta get personal, this a free you should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. You're my first one, like my last one. It's a classic. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12 is a fast. Oh! Yo! <laughs> Let me tell you where you get your abs from. He's gone fucking big. Like, throughout this, he's like dissecting everything. Like, uh, fuck. Yo, if you don't have the dedication to go in the fucking gym and in the kitchen to meal prep, to go in the gym, do the fucking work to get your fucking abs, and you'd rather pay someone to give you abs. And I'm not talking about personal trainer. I'm talking about surgery. Like, if that's what Kendrick sang, like, he is, and Drake did that, come on. Just come on. The joy of fucking building something is you can look back on the fucking journey. The journey that got you where you want to be and the hard work you can show from it. Kendrick's doing it. He works his fucking ass off. Not for clout. He's just doing it. Because he loves it. And he's calling Drake out. I know I'm late to the game. To this video. This song. But. This is why. Like. Yeah. I'm seeing more and more. As I'm diving back. And I heard. Uh, Kendrick was. Dissing Drake a long before this. So, this should be interesting if I go back there. Uh, I, I'm more than welcome to look into more of his catalog. Um, but, yeah. Don't be fake. If you're listening, don't try to fake it till you make it. I think that whole thing is overstated a lot of people throw that around way too much um 
You can't fake something to make it. You need to put in the fucking work. That's the fucking truth. Like, there's no way around it. Sometimes it takes people longer than others. Some people get in a groove and they fucking can do it. Um, I know I want to put in work more. Like, I strayed from it. But straight up, like... I'm going to put in the work. You know? If you want to, go do it. But, Drake, clearly you're not. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? A top dog. Who the... Oh, I bet you he's like hiding. Like, he's got to be hiding. You haven't heard anything from Drake. Besides some fucking weird ass fucking um, song that came out. I will not listen to that. I, I listened to a bit of it. It's the corniest fucking song I ever heard. It's the laziest fucking writing I've ever heard in my life. Uh, if you like it, good for you. Uh, enjoy it. But I, I, I can't. It, it was fucking horrible. It was laughable. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, you can like it or not. That's totally fine. Um, but let's get back to it. It's only three minutes and I, I'm sorry. I keep stopping it. But there's so much to dissect in this. And I keep turning off because it's making me think. It's making me want to become a better artist. So let's get back to it. The fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hang with. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way Ooh, that you dress. That's Surprise, she wanted that feature request. You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga. But that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringeworthy. You ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still love when you see success. Everything with me is blessed. Keep making me dance wave on my hand and there won't be no threat i'm knowing they call you the boy but where's a man because i ain't seen him yet matter of fact i ain't even bleed him yet can i bleed him back when i see you stand by sexy red i believe you see two bad bitches i believe you don't like women it's real competition you might pop ass with them let's be going percentage show me your <laughs> he's basically called him bitch <laughs> he called him a bitch <laughs> so you're just gonna pop ass with him because you're a bitch <laughs> Uh. Splits, I make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try cease and assist on a like that record. Oh, what you ain't like that record? Back to back, I like that record. I'm gonna get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get dirt on niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. Waking them up, no. They tell them to pray, no none about that. They giving them tools to walk through life like day by day, no none about that. Teaching them morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man, you don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering, you don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 v one, it's one v twenty. If I gotta smack niggas, that right with you. Yeah, bring them out too. I clean them out too. Tell Bean that he better stay right with you. Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin. Funny he was in a film called AI. Am I sixth sense telling me to off him? I'm a brick niggas all in the coffin. Yeah, over whole niggas is dick riders. Tell them run to America to imitate heritage. They can't imitate this violence. What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast and I'm fine with it. I'll push the line with it. Pick a nigga off one at a time with it. We can be on a three hour time difference. Don't speak on the family, Crody. It can get deep in the family, Crody. Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. Fuck. Damn. Speaking truth, like, don't fucking speak on his family. Don't, you bring family up, you're going to get torn apart. It's your funeral. Like, you're doing this to yourself. Man, uh, but the AI. Ah, oh, man. That 
Like, I, I haven't heard it, but I heard uh, Drake went in and tried to do, um, have AI sing or rap, um, like, Pac would for a song. And I, I could be wrong and Snoop. Um, dude, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. I, I did hear something about, um, uh, apparently it was taken down. Yeah, dude, don't fucking do that shit. Like, this is what's happening. Like, people think it's okay to do that. Like, you wonder why the state went after you. You're doing stupid crap. You can't fucking rap. You, okay, you can't write your own raps. You have ghostwriters. You <laughs> you want the ghostwriters to put in AI and maybe even AI to actually do this to make your career bigger. Okay, we got a your actor, and that's sorry. Uh, that's where a lot of people know about him. Um, now the younger generation knows him more for. His music career. But. Man. Like I, I just. I never really listened to Drake. I think like walking through a store. Grocery store or. A store in general. Shopping. You would hear his songs. Um, but. I just pop in my. Uh, earbuds and just. Listen. Fucking. Metallica Slayer or, you know, anything that I had on my uh, phone because I didn't want to hear Drake. I thought he was corny before this. But, um, anyway, let's get back to it. I'll be at Newhall King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Tell me your cheese and farm. We could do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas, I don't trust y'all niggas I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas Like, mm, feel go punk y'all niggas They punk y'all niggas, nobody never took my food Whoever that's fucking weird, them fuck you niggas And fuck the industry too If you take it there, I'm taking it further Psst, that's something you don't wanna do Oh, I like that beat We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more Stop That was good. That was really good. That was awesome. Like, he killed him. He killed him. Damn. 